Yo, so guys, your boy Killer here, and today we're going to be making a, another logo on Black Ops 3. I think this is my fourth video. So, my first one I made Speed Cola, second one I made Juggernog, uh, third one I made uh, Revive Soda, and today we're going to be making a Double Tap Root Beer. So, we're going to copy over the, um, you know, the one we used from last episode, just so that we got a nice little template to work with. And then straight away, we're just going to be able to then change the background color on this one to, uh, yeah, that, 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 you know, that sanded brown is probably going to do do pretty fine for the background color. Um, then, you're actually going to, well, you can delete all the stuff that goes on the front there, because we don't need any of that. That's all going to get changed. We still have the, uh, the words there on the top. And what we're actually going to need to do is, well, change, well, there's going to be two circles now, instead of just the one. So the one... Yeah, the outside one's going to stay uh, white, the inside one's going to go to orange. It's roughly that sort of orange, it's actually a pretty bright, uh, pretty bright emblem, this one. So, that looks uh, just about right, I'd say. You can maybe change the colour later if I think it needs to be maybe a bit um, different. But before we got now, I think that looks fine. Then we're also going to have to make duplicates of the, um, the little shield sections. And the outside ones. But the ones you're going to keep the same are actually going to be white. So just choose the white color on the two, you know, like original ones. And just like so. And then, oh no, I did that wrong. Um, yeah, there we go, here's the bottom part. And then the top section is actually going to be changed to a sort of like a red color. Sort of like a dark red, sort of like that actually. Yeah, wow. Getting the colors for this one's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, so there you go, there's the red. Fit it there like that. Oh, oh, I just accidentally hit the trigger. That was bad. But yeah, so you got it just like that. I'm actually going to move this slightly up so it fits a bit nicer. And yeah, so there we have the basic template. And this is actually a really, really nice and easy emblem for you guys to make. Let me just see what these two black market things are. I don't care about them. We're actually going to have two bullets right now. Um, so you, well, I'm actually going to then just take the, um, you know, the pre-made, like, 50 cal, uh, bullet. Because it's exactly what we need, really. And then I'm just going to change the colour to a sort of, a sort of, like, goldish sort of colour, I'd say. One of these two. I'm going to use this one. It's a bit more colourful. Just pop that just by there. I'm going to duplicate it, have one a bit further back. Like there, just about halfway the back as well um make sure that they're just about long enough to uh just a bit longer so they look pretty cool now they actually look a bit bent you're gonna maybe yeah you're gonna have to be a bit more precise obviously with uh all some stuff you're gonna use for it but i think to be honest that looks pretty good for what i'm aiming at, aiming to get and then well well you could do a cheaty shortcut and try and use these, the the bullets, which um, I'll show you what they look like now. I can't remember what I used to do because obviously I made all these um, emblems actually on the original, uh, well, on Black Ops 2, back in the day. You see, it it doesn't look too bad, but I mean, it doesn't quite look right. Maybe I chose the wrong color. I don't know. Let me have a little little look. Yeah, there you go. It just it doesn't quite look right. You can't actually even see the lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own one. So we're gonna go over to tools and come down, choose the rectangle medium, and just rotate it. Uh, see, so yeah, I got 270 there. Or you could do 90 depending on which way around you turn. Yeah, I think we used that color, did we? Uh, yeah, that looks about right. And you're gonna make them as thin as you can. Obviously, look like uh, the bullet spray. And that's just about as thin as I can make them. So we got them like that. And then we're going to have one by there. I'm going to go and duplicate it. And you could actually just do, you know, just a handful. Actually, now we're going to make we're gonna make sure we can get three in here. And then we've got another one which is just a bit further across. Oh, this. Minute, let's make that thinner. This one's not quite as we want it. Ah, oh, there you go. Looks about right, just by there. And then we can actually 
move all of these ones up just a tad. Um, depending on where you want to place them. I mean, this is all up to you. All up to you guys. I'm just, you know, showing you the basics of how to do this. Um, can actually shorten it a little bit and make it a bit fatter if you want, uh, but not too fat. I'm gonna bop that down just like that. Make it the same sort of. Actually, you can then copy it and paste it again, just like that. And then you can copy and paste the um. The bullet parts, well, you know, the back, you know, the, um, what do you call it, ah, like the, the movement lines, yeah, whatever, whatever. You can copy and paste them down, like so, so that it looks proper, so that it looks well accurate, and it looks uh, pretty good, so, um, yeah, that's how you do the main logo for it, which is, it's pretty easy, you know, nothing really too challenging about it. I'm actually going to make the, um, border a little bit smaller bit thick right now yeah, make that smaller still and yeah so we're gonna keep this oh no we're gonna remove the soda we're gonna kind of keep the one the one letter by there so I'm gonna change this to an L because the L is just about at the top well they use like a fancy font on the actual logo but obviously we just have the um block capitals so that's what we're gonna have to deal with it's fine though you can still make a pretty good root via logo change that to an E to end off the um, end of double in double tap and this oh this one we're gonna we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep writing out um, double but backwards now be there a U yep I'm just double checking I can actually spell yep we do need a U for the to write out double Change that to an L, and you guys get the picture. This is pretty easy, it's pretty standard. You just do it in every one of them. Well, I do it in all of my, uh, you know, perk logos, perk, you know, you know, perk bottle emblem making video things. Um, and then we're gonna actually change this last one. Oh no, you don't want to change the color of it, but you want to change it to the letter D, and change it to the white color. I accidentally changed it to uh, sort of like a red color then by accident. Not good. There we go. Just make sure it's as accurate as you want it to be. It's your logo, so. Just make it look how you guys want it to. So, there I got it written double. And we're just going to have then uh, the letters tap. Well, the word tap then. I'm actually going to start on the P. Um because then I can work backwards on it, but I have a T here, so obviously I'm just going to switch that up real quick. Um, oh no, don't want to flip it, that'll be bad. And tap. I think we may have to move it across just a wee bit, this P. Like that, that looks awesome. There. Right, so you may need to readjust this a bit later, just to make sure it all fits and stuff. But you know, doing that's absolutely fine, guys. You know, it's only going to take you an extra little bit of time just to make sure it looks real good. And uh, there, we have got written out double tap. Um, however, that is not the end of it. I think that's a reasonable spacing. You guys can obviously put across, which I might do actually just a little bit, and just to make sure it's as good as I want it to look, like that. And then we're gonna spell out root beer. Two four letter words, so there's not really gonna be a center for this one, so I'm just gonna keep using the T actually, and start writing out a root. Because the word root has two O's, if you didn't realize, guys. I know, pretty, pretty crazy, pretty crazy, I know how to spell this. Um, and then, bang, just change this one to an R, move it across just a wee bit, bang, there you go, that looks brilliant, and then you're just going to want to spell out beer, which again is not really a struggle, I can imagine, for most of you anyway. Um, 
Yeah, let's do that another E then. Well, the first E of two. Put that by there. And across. Another E there. And then the last one is actually going to be another R that we had before. And there you go. Just like that. You've made the double tap root beer logo, which, as far as I'm concerned, looks basically like the um the actual one does. So um yeah, that's well cool. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy making that emblem. Gonna save it as double tap, and um, here you go. We've now got all the four original perk, you know, perk emblems, the perks, the original ones. So hopefully, you guys like them. Make sure to check out my channel if you missed any of them. Um, I'll probably continue making the rest of the perks. I guess I really don't have a problem with that. I've got I've got um, pictures for Stamina Up and PhD Flop, and then I can just get all the rest of them. And uh, yeah, I might run out of room, unfortunately, but nah, we shouldn't have any problems. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like, comment down below as always, and subscribe for more daily content. I've been your boy Killjoy, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No, no. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck oh just God. happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Oh, <laughs>